my whole twenties, I didn't gig because uh, it was just too scary. And it was only in my thirties that we started gigging, and I realised that actually, when you're playing your own instrument as yeah. well, because I'd been in bands yeah. and just got up and sang, e- even though I could play, I just wanted to concentrate on the singing. And people don't judge you nearly as much as you think if you're playing a tune and you're singing. I, f- I find that they're a bit more forgiving about your singing. Like if you watch these vocal talent shows, the minute yeah. someone hits a slightly wrong note, you're like, oh, they're rubbish. Whereas if someone's playing their own stuff and they're playing a piano, yeah. I don't know, for me, it, you get away with it a little bit more. You don't have to be perfect. Hello and welcome to the big chat. And we are currently uh, doing a live takeover at Local and Live at the Calvary Grounds. Very, very amazing to be here. Second year running, so exciting. I'm Coco. I'm here with my co-host. Just checking the mic was on. Yep. <laughs> What's your name? Who are you? Giles. Sorry, Giles Paley Phillips. I'm here as well. <laughs> Giles Paley Phillips. And we've got a couple of guests with us here. We we've got Lainey. And hello. Hello. And, and Mike. Mark. Mark. Hello, Mark. You said you tried to say Mike again, didn't you? I do it's apologise. Like, it was my Mark. dad's name. It's a nice, it's a warm name. It's, it's a nice name. But I Mark's think, I think Lenny, Lenny and Mike might Lenny. be a good Lenny. You've got yeah. to talk into your mic, Mark. Okay. Yeah, talk right into Maybe your mic. Maybe that's why I'm saying Mike. Yeah, you got Mike for Mark. Because yeah, yeah. you've got to yeah. talk. <laughs> well, this is off to a good start. Isn't yeah. it? Though? Isn't it? Oh, the banter. This is yeah. perfect. Oh, it's free flowing. perfect. <laughs> So tell us, tell us, you've just come in. We're literally your first guests of the day. It's exciting. Oh, are we? Yes. The virgin nice. guests. Um, I'm not sure about that. Well, I'm Lainey Kaleido. I've always played at uh, Local and Live as Lainey Kaleido, but Mark's always been my, uh, my right-hand man. Um, and we've recently um, started uh, doing gigs as Carameleon. Okay. Uh, which is an anagram of Mark and Lainey. So, um, so we're still doing the same thing, but there's going to be a bit more... Uh, beats going on. Oh. I'm, I'm getting young in my old age. So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we've just got a slightly more groovy sound going on. And nice. uh, this, will, this will be our first full on Caramelian gig, won't it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess we it did will. play at the I Fort love Hill. the name. Thank you. It was actually the name of my first album as well. So it might confuse people if they look it up online. They might see, oh, hang on, she's done an album of that yeah. name. But again, that was because it was an anagram. But we just thought it was such a good name. You had an We'd insight earlier it. on that just came to yeah, you later yeah. again. So we're just carrying on with that. So yeah, tell us a bit about the sound of the band. Yeah. You know, obviously you're a two piece, but you're. Yeah. Tell us, yeah, tell us a bit about how the origins of the sound and, and, and what you guys so have been doing. I guess it's... Well, you, you, you can you start, you kick off. Well, I'm, I've always been a songwriter. Um, I don't know what... The, I'm, I'm influenced by all sorts of things, mm-hmm. and the stuff that I listen to is way more cool than the stuff I write. Um, I'm, I'm really an indie chick at heart. Um, I'd say there are little indie influences in my stuff, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're, we're just trying to sort of in, uh, include a few more of those indie trip-hop type influences okay. now. Something um, a little bit more, um, I think maybe cinematic as well in the sound. Okay. A lot of oh. ambient sound. A lot of... Soundscape-y um, kind of stuff. soundscape yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, there's a whole sort of array of, of, of noises which are made on stage. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they, all, they all kind of do the right what thing, I hope. What have you had for breakfast this morning, Well, not Mark. those noises. <laughs> <laughs> um, but... Um, yeah, it's 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 kind of yeah uh, ambient, in, indie trip hop soundscapes yeah. that kind and of thing. And because nobody suppose. loves us and, and we don't like people, we decided that rather than get what? a bass player and <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I think just for convenience. Um, and you know we've both got busy lives and stuff. We've both got families now, so to make things a bit easier with the sound, it would be lovely to have a full band. But what we're doing is using a drum machine today, mm-hmm. um, and also some backing tracks, which are hopefully all the technology is going to work. And I think once upon a time, um, I'd have really poo-pooed that idea, you know, backing tracks. Were, but now, of course, it, it actually creates that sound that makes it quite enjoyable to play up on stage. It's not just us with a guitar yeah, and a, a piano. Bit, a bit lo-fi. Yeah. That's a bit great. Lo-fi, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lo-fi's yeah. good. So yeah. tell me some of the indie bands that you're kind of into then. What kind of bands were you kind <laughs> of... Well, um, Mark's not so much of an indie boy, are you? But I'm... I'm everyone knows that I'm really into a band called Ride. Yeah. Um, so they are proper early 90s mm-hmm. shoegaze, but they got back together. Um, Mark Gardner, who was, you know, a <laughs> bit of a 
sex god in his day. He still is. He still is. In a different kind, you know, he's looks a bit different these days but he's he's gorgeous and lovely and he recorded my last album uh, my last Laney Kaleido album and he's also produced the last three tracks um, that we've done one of which is already released one of which is due one of which is coming up soon which will be playing today and that will be released on the 16th and then we've got another one after that and they've all been produced by Mark from Wow, Rise, so, so that's amazing that's that you've so been able to cool, work with yeah. you, obviously someone that you're yeah. Yeah. influenced by. And, and he texts me sometimes and yeah. I'm like, it's just, you know, it's, it's Mark, Mark from, from Rise. Rise. Yeah. <laughs> text me, it's fine. But that can, that I mean, that can go two ways, couldn't it? Oh, you yeah. Know, so it's so great I've got that a sweaty eye bag. No, don't worry, it's fine. Oh, it's hot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but how, yeah, how was that working with him in the studio? I was so scared about meeting him. And then the minute he came to pick me up from the hotel and, um, uh, and I got in the car and he immediately put me at ease. Aww. I was really worried. I thought I was going to have to get drunk to perform and, and actually I didn't at all. And, you know, I'd taken sort of um, calm me down pills and stuff so that yeah, I could yeah, play yeah. with it. And he was just lovely from the beginning. He's just a really, really lovely guy. I know that sounds like a bit of a cliche, but I was prepared for that whole, mm. you know, never meet your heroes kind of thing. Yeah. And, um, but I'm glad I did. And it's it's kind of taken me in a slightly different direction. Not that he's particularly gone down the trip hop route with with my previous stuff but what he did do was really try and showcase my voice a bit which i'm not very confident about so it was nice that he tried to strip everything else back and it's been like a real strong influence in many yeah, ways yeah but then we have mark and his influences because i feel like i'm waffling um, how, come, how can mark not influence look at this vision i mean <laughs> it's very the kind. bearded vision yeah, yeah bearded absolutely he's looking um, very dapper this I morning yeah, I mean, f- for me, um, spiritualized dinosaur junior pixies, pixies. Know, like yeah. the work of um, Jay Maskis, of course. Um, so oh, just noise, so just good. making noise. Yeah. Readers, the, the pavement, readers, of course. Uh, yes, yeah, so all the Boston bands, I suppose, all well, those New England bands. Yeah, um, and you're also a bit into pavement, country, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, country. Yeah, I like sort of country leave, rock rather yeah, than Will Oldham. Yeah, yeah I like a bit of country Spark rock. Horse. Um, Nick Cave. So, so you get that twangy, that, kind of that lovely twangy thing. Lots of reverb and twang, yeah, and then heavy distortion. <laughs> you know, and fuzz and things like that. Yeah, just yeah. just a, a glorious um, uh, melting pot of, of sounds. <laughs> oh my god! Your, your it sounds like I want to immerse myself. Your yeah. imperial, uh, wow. um, uh, take on things, and I just want to just nasty things up, dirty it up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think I always felt a bit restricted by the fact I've got a little sort of gentle voice, um, and then as I've got older, you start to take yourself less seriously. And I just thought I would just want to have fun with my songs yeah. now, and let's have a bit of you know, a little bit of a hip hop beat here and a trip hop thing here. And let's just, it, do you know what I mean? It's just, uh, I'm not worried about making it big now. You know, I've got to a certain age. I'm I'm still writing songs. They're getting good reviews. You're doing and what you love. Yeah. And I'm just starting to not worry about it quite so much. I'm not worried that's about good. being cool or any of that malarkey. Cause well, you are cool. You don't need to. You am know. I? Thank you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I mean, no, but do you know what I mean? It, it, today started really well, hasn't it? It's brilliant. I've been told I'm cool. You are but cool, I man. Me. I mean, listen to what you just described you're going to do. All I'm thinking is that we're going to miss it. Yeah. I want to well, watch I've, it. Well, I would say, like, by sh- like but shredding yourself <laughs> of those kind of yeah. pre- pretensions and stuff that, yeah. you know, and actually doing what you really like is cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. That, you know, you're just, right. yeah, right. yeah. It is. Just being your true, authentic yeah. self. Yeah. Yes. That's what, that's what, that's and wearing what. black on a really hot day, that's not cool. That's, it's rock and roll though. Yeah, yeah it is yeah, rock and roll. Yeah. yeah, you know, look, we've both got shades on. Johnny <laughs> Cash always did it, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, that's <laughs> very good point. Yeah, very yeah. good reference point. Yeah. But what time are you guys on? We're on at one forty. <gasps> will we be able? But it is our. I think um, we will. Yeah. Oh, I, I must it. admit, I feel a bit weird playing in the daytime. It feels Do like you? I'm not yeah. quite a human until it's dark. But we're on the main stage, which is a first for us at Local and Live. Wow. So that's yeah. so. That's really cool. So just just before you tell us about what music you've had out recently, how do you construct your? Um, your backing tracks and stuff is that something you do together or is it oh no the the well th- the backing tracks we're using today are just for a few songs at the end that are the ones that are being released okay and it's really just to give people a real real feel because people are used to just hearing me on piano mark on guitar this time they'll hear they'll get more of a flavor of what they'll get if they mm-hmm. go and buy the single or just stream it for free um 
hopefully millions of times, then we might get a few pence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it is available on Bandcamp. So really, it's just what we've recorded in the studio. Uh-huh. Or I, I actually recorded some of it at home, which I've started doing more of. Finished it off at the studio, take out the vocals, and then that's ready to play on yeah, stage. Sure. So it's still me singing and Mark playing, yeah. just with some added vibes, bass and stuff. But that's only for three tracks. So the other stuff will be a bit more stripped back. Yeah. Yes. 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 So I'm surprised you haven't asked any guitar questions well, yet. I, well, yeah. Well, what are you playing? Because he's what, like, like I mean, playing so the into the guitar. Actually, I want to know this as well. Are you yeah. going to play that Gretsch that was going out of tune yesterday? I didn't bring the Gretsch, no. Way! Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful <laughs> Gretsch. It is a beautiful Gretsch. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it was not playing a uh, ball. No, it's uh, because the Bigsby, it's a little bit kind of... Uh, Big yeah. Bigsby's tem- tricky. Temperamental there sometimes. they are. They're tricky. They're tricky. It's temperamental. It's an old guitar. It's an old yeah. guitar. An old Gretsch. Um, today... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've got a uh, drum roll. Drum roll, please. Um, we've got a, uh, a, a Fender Jaguar, very nice, and um, and a uh, and a Dan Electro. Ah, okay, yes. As a, as a, I'm not quite sure which one to start with. Maybe I'll use both at the same time. Maybe wow. I'll use, maybe I'll use one. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be just good to look around and see that there's another one. If I want it, if I want it. So yeah. <laughs> um, and then a pedal board about the size of. Birmingham, um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's that's the sound. And um, I know that there's a, um, uh, a head and a cab on stage, which I'll be running through. Excellent. Yeah. It's a Marshall, and I've never used a Marshall. Okay, we we'll just go for the effects loop. You'll I be like fine. orange or Fender. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, or I'll just yeah crank it up to whatever yeah. Marshalls go up to, and yeah. and, and see what happens. If it, well, if it's, as long as it's like a JCM like 900 or something, you'll be fine. I don't know. I don't think it is. Mm, but yeah. we'll see. It's all part of the fun. Exactly. It's, you know, it's yeah. fly by the seat of the pants. Yeah. It's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it could all go horribly wrong or horribly right. It's not going to go horribly well, wrong. It'd be great. It's on stage. Excellent. And I'll just yeah. like stage dive. <laughs> yeah. At my age. I mean, it could be, that, could be, that could be lethal. But I can relate. Look, like the going on the stage thing. I mean, I'm not a musician, but I'd like t- I'm used to talking to people. But Paul last year got me up on stage to introduce me to everyone. Yeah. And I was terrified. I was like, hello. Yeah. Hello, everybody. I mean, it's like, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. In the I day, like in the middle of the day, you know. My whole 20s, I didn't gig because I, it was just too scary. And it was only in my 30s. We'd known each other for quite a long time through a mutual friend. Um, and it was only then that I started to, we started gigging. And I realised that actually when you're playing your own instrument as yeah. well. Because I'd been in bands yeah. and just got up and sang, e- even though I could play. I just wanted to concentrate on the singing. Yeah. Um, and I used to get wasted. Of some of the gigs I did at uni, yeah. the, this possibly shouldn't be being filmed, but yeah, I would get No, it should say it being filmed. And then, um, and then realising that I could play my own stuff. And people don't judge you nearly as much as you think. If you're playing a tune and you're singing, I, f- I find that they're a bit more forgiving about your singing. Like if you watch these vocal talent shows, the minute yeah. someone hits a slightly wrong note, you're like, Oh, they're rubbish. Whereas if someone's playing their own stuff and they're playing a piano, yeah. I don't know. For me, it, you get away with it a little bit more. You don't have to be perfect, which is what I always was afraid. What of. is perfect anyway? Exactly. Yeah. I, I definitely don't have do a you know perfect I mean? voice or <laughs> neither do I. Playing. So <laughs> yeah, be prepared for some jazz notes later. Yeah. I'm excited <laughs> about this. <laughs> So tell us about where we can find your stuff. And, yeah, and where can we find got, you? you? You said you got a new single out, so tell us about that. Yeah, um, so, well, for the purposes of today, I've brought along a CD, well, a CD that you can get, which is still the Laney Kaleido. It's my second album because the third one was digital only. So all of those are on online and stuff, so Laney Kaleido. Uh, but we are Caramelian, which is K-A-R-A-M-E-L. I-E-N. Love it. Um, Nicely done. And Love it. which we sort of think it's A, it's an anagram of our names, and B, it's kind of got that caramel and chameleon type thing, which suits our ever changing mood. Growing with the times S- kind of. Yeah, vibe. sweet, sweet but mysterious. And yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and the, <laughs> the single out now is called Ascension Heights, and it's available to buy on Bandcamp. I think you can pay a pound or you can pay more if you want. Someone paid a tenner for it the other day, which Good I thought was Good Lord, that's nice, isn't it, when people That's do that. good, yeah. like that a pound. Nice. Yeah. Come on, surely we can <laughs> do we more than a pound. Who that person is. I know who it is. Oh, good. Yeah, Aww. she's an ex-boyfriend from uni. Wow, okay. Thank yeah. you, ex-boyfriends. Yeah. Keep Joff, doing that. Joffy. Well done, Joffy. <laughs> yeah, that's um, nice. And, uh, uh, yeah, and the, the next single is coming up very soon. That's Lion Hearts. That will be available. Eventually, we'll stick all this stuff together with some new tracks and get an album out so it's very Brilliant. much in its infant infancy mm. yeah work in progress yeah mm. 
But the single Ascension Heights has um, a sample of my father's playing as well. Top Topham, his name was, and he played. Well, he's still around, uh, but not very well. He played with the Yardbirds. Oh, okay. um, he was their original lead guitarist, and then went solo. So Ascension Heights samples a bit of him. So you might hear him through the backing track. So that's not you. But Mark does play other stuff on that track. So oh wow, that's so cool. that's quite a nice. That's really yeah. cool. One to release because my dad. Yeah, I bet he I likes that, doesn't he? he? Yeah, he's not well enough to really know what's going on now, so it's a bit sad. So it's a yeah. bit of a tribute to him. So. Well, that's beautiful. Thank you. I'm all about tributes to dads. Yeah, I do yeah. a lot for my dad, who's yeah. not on this plane, on another. But yeah, you know, that's okay. a really beautiful thing you're doing. So. Yeah. It's going to be glorious. You're going to be gonna amazing. Be look, look, look. They're going to be good, works. aren't they? And I'm I don't re- sweat anymore. We might. Yeah. Oh, I'm going through the sweats at the moment, all right? Do you know what I mean? I'm like, literally, I'm, like, I'm there. I'm I've right there. I've got my there. HRT patch on. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got mine on too. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> Let's hear it for the menopause. We don't, give it, we don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> you get to HRT, you don't give a shit. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll do whatever we have to do to get through. <laughs> but you'll be great on today. And I think Thank we're going to have to Coco. change the schedule so we can actually... Yeah, I think we will. We're going to be like interviewing someone and just um, <laughs> listening and watching. So sorry, whoever's on at one thirty. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but best of luck, guys. Yeah, thank you so Thank much you. for coming to talk Thanks to Thanks for you. being our Pleasure. first guest. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And Mark, it. it was lovely to meet you, oh. Mark. <laughs> Feelings mutual. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Laney, obviously. Yeah, no no, no nerves. Well. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks Good luck. Everyone. Not that you need it. Thank You'll be you. awesome. All right. Bye.